good morning to the vlog. Quiet time's over. Me and Abigail, we are going downtown. We're on Union. We're on Union Station. We're on our way. We're to on our Union. way to Union Station. We're at Mount Pleasant Glow in Brampton. I got a new job, so she's showing me how to get there because she's the downtown expert. Tell them how you're the downtown expert. I used to go well, like, to I'm a George Brown alumni. <laughs> No, I used to go to George Brown at the waterfront, so I had to take the train and walk. I never actually took the TTC because it, Union Station is right by the waterfront. So this was my life for a year. Um, so I wanted to show her this, the ropes of what I remember. Of course, times were different because I graduated in 2017. So. Ooh, 2018? 2017. 2017. Hey, y'all. Um, but yeah, I look crusty. So sorry. You look crazy. Look at me. So sorry. So yeah, so far so good. She showed me how to read the maps and then how to get here. So I think it's uh, yeah. And Go is good because it has a helpful community. You can ask anyone anything and they'll tell you. So you just stop some random dude. And he was just like, he already knew Wild Guan. He yeah. was like, oh yeah, we need to see each other. Yeah. So just know your line. Just know where you got to be on the train and watch your schedules. And you're good to go. So follow us. Just in case you might need to go to Union Station too. Or get a job downtown. Exactly. Alright, it's going. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the skies. Little Einstein. <laughs> Downtown, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not a photography student. I graduated Humber College about like six to seven years ago, but I'm gonna say no. I like, that's really just... join the conversation. I, <laughs> I know, I think I wasn't having it. I was like, I'm gonna be straight. <laughs> so I'm just like, might as well just play into it. And then the other lady was like, oh, here's another place you can go to as I was leaving. So I'm like, this is lit. People are smiling at us, saying, Hi. yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, <Yo>, the camera <laughs> down. <laughs> No, yeah, but he looks like he has a whole job in this thing. She's wasted. Yes, he he's on so he's a proper man. Yeah. He's, he's not no It's hilarious. That's sad. It is. Like bro, it's not even like noon yet. No. Way in the morning. And he has like keys around his neck, so he has a place to go home to at night. So he's a proper, proper stable man. Drunk before twelve. <sighs> Alright, so we're almost there. So so far so good. It's an easy Easy route. I can Very say. easy. Easy so route. Straightforward. So yeah. After this weekend, I'm officially a downtown girly and we'll be downtown every single day. If anybody asks my YouTuber and I make great content, but you don't give up my YouTube ad. <laughs> What's next for the day? Flyer. We might just hit eat. I didn't even know I was just oh, <laughs> We might just hit Eaton Center. Just for a little walk around. Walk I haven't been around. there in a long time. 
Or just want to see what's there. We're on good time. We're actually really early. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. If we came earlier, we would have been like going home by yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Because I woke up late. First of all, Abigail said, "I'll be at your house for 7 a.m." I'm like, okay. I was um, on the road late. I'm like, Abigail, you know what? I can't wake up for 7. It's just too early. Can we do a later time? She goes, let's do 8 o'clock because I want you to get the fresh hour experience. I said, fair. So I set my alarm for 7 o'clock. One hour to get ready. So I'm texting Abigail and I'm realizing that sis is not responding. So I'm like, she's most likely still sleeping. So I'm like, 7... Um, it's now 7.45, I'm like, I'm ready. Let me know when you're on your way. <laughs> and then, nothing. I'm like, I know she's sleeping. So I texted her, I said, I think you're sleeping. Seven, it's like eight o'clock now. Yeah. My mom's like, go call her. Go on, go call her. So I call her. <laughs> this is what had me. Oh. Abigail goes, hey Sam, I'm on my way. No, no you know. Abby, Yeah, you did. I called you though. No, I called you, you answered the phone call. <laughs> That's what happened. So you did wake me up. No. She answers the phone yeah, and she goes, Hey Sam, I'm on my way. She, mind you, she doesn't even sound like she was sleeping. Mind you, Abby goes in her bed. How could she be on her way? <laughs> and then she goes, I said, Is everything okay? Are you okay? She, this is what happened. She goes, Yeah. I, I fell asleep and I don't know what happened. <laughs> you went to bed. That's what happened. You didn't wake up. Guys, when I answered that phone, I was. I literally was woken up by the, the sound of the, the, the ring the ringtone. So when I was seeing the time, I was freaking out. I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way. Like I, I don't know what happened. I fell asleep. So like, then I asked her again. Like, I, just I said, I said to her, I'm like, what'd you say? She's like, I went to sleep and I don't know what happened. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know what happened? You went to sleep yeah. and you didn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so then, and then she texts me. I'm like, okay. She's like, yeah. How can you be on your way and be in bed? <laughs> I'm like, okay, no problem. Then she texts me after she hangs up and then she goes, Hey, I'm just gonna take a quick shower and then come straight to you. And now we're here. <laughs> but yeah. So guys, moral of the story is if I tell you I'm gonna be somewhere in the morning, don't believe me. And I knew she was going to be late because Abigail's a late person, so I wasn't in a rush to get ready. But once I realized she wasn't responding, I'm like, this girl is sleeping. <laughs> She's sleeping. My bad. Yeah, that's all we get is in my bed. Ew, I do this. This is for psychopaths. Yeah, I don't know. But cyber stories are hard to understand, which is why. So I think I'm gonna get this one. And then on Kindle, I might get this one, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. 